there's some people who take the harassing ugly villagers way too far calm down it's just the drawing however not gonna lie if your villager is limberg or harry i'm not saying i condone violence but period Hi! Oh my god! I did not notice you. I was too busy being um, gone for a whole entire month. Your favorite internet uncle has been gone for an entire month and I understand that my followers, my children, have been starving and withering away. I'm so sorry that I've neglected you guys by not uploading consistently. Oh my god, that was such good acting! Oh my god, Laura Lee who? And I hope you guys I actually am in university right now and I had to do online finals and it's so crazy to think that not that long ago I uploaded a video where you guys come with me to take finals and now we're all here quarantined and I had to do absolutely everything online and let me tell you it was the worst thing ever the memes about the online school they have been so rich and relatable and so perfect in describing how i'm feeling oh hello uh, sorry about that guys that was shane dawson calling me to ask to collab with him i can't help being famous guys i have 50,000 subscribers now i can't wait till next year when i hit a million to become distant and cry in front of the camera and i have my first scandal i'm genuinely excited Anyways, I wanted to do something super special for you guys. A long time ago, I asked you guys if you guys wanted to see either a Roblox Let's Play or an Animal Crossing Let's Play. And for the longest time, I only had Animal Crossing New Leaf because I am what? Poor. And all the Nintendo Switches are what? Sold out. And people are hoarding Nintendo Switches and selling them for triple their price. I literally tried everything to get my hands on a Nintendo Switch. I looked on eBay, Amazon, I tried Wish, and then I tried Wishing on a star. But alas, nothing happened. So then, I took to Instagram to complain. And I said in my story, if I don't get a Nintendo Switch, I will scream and I will cry. And then that's when my cousin Jeffrey, shout out to my cousin Jeffrey, hit me up and he was like, hold up. I have a Nintendo Switch and I literally never play it. Why don't I just sell it to you? And I was like, oh my god. I complained and I got what I wanted. My mind is so big and powerful, I swear. And so today's video will be transforming myself into my Animal Crossing character. I recently unlocked terraforming and my island looks like a hot mess. I'm nowhere close to having a five-star island while other YouTubers' islands look like this. Mine looks like this. So unfortunately, I will not be doing an island tour in this video, but later on, once I get everything all structured, I definitely will. So stay tuned for that. So the very first thing that we're going to do is go inside my Animal Crossing village and decide on an outfit I'm going to recreate. So let's go ahead and do this. So this is my room in Animal Crossing. As you can tell, it's not that, I mean, astounding, but it is cute, comfy, and I actually wanted it to be to be kind of like a mini replica of actually my small vintage room. As you can tell, the sheets and the little vintage couch and everything, I think I did a pretty good job. So next, let's get to the outfits. The first outfit that I have is a cowboy, and I named it Yee, and I think it's super duper cute. I love the little boots. My next outfit is Teen Witch, which I made because, you know, my name's Salem, Salem Witch Rose, you know? Next is my anime outfit which is super cute and I have an artist outfit and I also use this when I'm doing construction. I have a spa day outfit and actually Pinel has another one just like this too which is super cute. This is my maid outfit and then my emo to the extremo outfit and then this is the outfit that i make my character wear normally every single day this is like my character's outfit outfit the number one outfit that i always wear and i actually made the raincoat myself which i thought was cute but this is actually the outfit i'm gonna transform into so yeah so let's get started 
Alright, so we're going to be doing the makeup first. I have my mirror and I have my makeup bag. In the meantime that I recreate my face, I'm going to take to Instagram and ask y'all to ask me some Animal Crossing questions. Um, okay, already there's responses that are a mess. The very first response I got was no. Then stream map of the Soul 7, love. I actually hate you guys. Anyways. If y'all are interested in any of the products that I'm using, I will link them down below if you guys want to get some of them. Someone said, opinion on people harassing ugly villagers. Okay, so some people want all wolf villagers or some people just want like a pretty village filled with pretty villagers and they can't just have some random uggo ruin that. So like I understand it. I don't really judge people who um, harass ugly villagers because everyone kind of has a right to play the way they want to. But would I ever harass an ugly villager? No, because I actually really like it when there's a random villager that I've never seen before. And even if they are a little different looking, I'll welcome them to my village. I honestly don't care. There's some people who take the harassing ugly villagers way too far. Calm down. It's just a drawing. However, not gonna lie, if your villager is Limburg or Harry, I'm not saying I condone violence, but... Period. Opinion on people trafficking villagers. Right now, I believe the most trafficked character ever in Animal Crossing is Raymond. And people are going as far to selling his fleas for real money. I legit saw on Twitter, people were offering so much bells, Nook Miles tickets, rare furniture, star fragments and everything to even get a picture of Raymond or spend a day with Raymond on that person's island. Or some people are legit selling Raymond for like 10 million bells. And for what? To just have someone dress him up in a maid outfit and force him to sing Bubblegum by KK Slider? Like, if that's your thing, if you really want popular villagers on your island, like, I get it. But like, also... I don't get it. My lips are so dry, oh my god. So for those of you who've been watching for a really long time, y'all know I love making my nose completely red and blushy. It's just something that I've always done. And so for my Animal Crossing character, I got the cute little button nose that looks like it's completely pink because of that, which I thought was super cute. So I'm gonna go ahead and make my nose look even more pink and roundish than usual to match my character. To this day, people still don't understand why I do blush and I often get judged for it and by often I mean all the time but the thing about some people's stylistic decisions and the way that they do their makeup or their wigs or their self-expression in general Sometimes it's not for you to get, it's just self-expression. Human nature in itself makes us very curious. So when we see someone with different aesthetics, humans automatically want to know just like, why? Why are you doing the thing that you do? Naturally, we are very judgmental creatures. And when you feel curious, sometimes you feel the need to comment on the very curious nature of the person that you're judging. But the thing is that nobody asked you, so keep it to yourself. But anyway, sorry for making this a little deep. I can't help being an inspirational icon. Anyways. So the white small bandage has completely dried and I'm gonna go ahead and put this on my nose. Hopefully it bends because it is acrylic paint that I painted it with. Oh, it does bend, okay. It smells so much like acrylic paint, but hey, it worked. All right, so that is it for my face. Next, I'm going to do my hair. So the hairstyle that I gave my Animal Crossing villager is braids because I really like braids, giving me India Maria realness. My Animal Crossing villager also has bangs, but I do have bangs, but they've grown out way too much. So I'm just going to put my bangs to the side and then do braids. Um... Only people with um, normal face shapes, unlike me, can pull off the two hairs right here. But when I do that hairstyle, I look like Mr. Lunt from VeggieTales in his cheeseburger music video. Also, I'm sorry if that was nightmare fuel for you. T 
next all I have to do is change into my outfit so I'm gonna go ahead and change <laughs> the final look of me recreating my Animal Crossing villager or player god of the island. I really really like the result. I think it's super duper cute. The bandages are hurting my face. But you know what? This has made me realize that there are so many differences but also similarities to Animal Crossing in real life. You know in the game I'm like 500 million bells in debt to Tom Nook and I'm in a lot of student loan debt in real life too. Except I'm not a slave to a raccoon in real life. So it's not as fun. But thank you guys so much for watching. Stay tuned for more videos and if you have any video suggestions, suggest su suggestions, leave them in the comments below and I will probably not read it. Don't forget to also like this video or else the algorithm will not pick it up and also if you don't like this video then Tom Nook will literally break your kneecaps with a crowbar. Alright, bye! Oh my god, that was such good acting. Oh my god, Laura Lee who? And I hope you 